Hi everybody, my name is Claire Michelle with the Seattle Voice Lab and today we are going to be talking about inflection, specifically the differences between a masculine and feminine inflection. So, uh, men, if you are watching this, just know that these rules can help you out immensely, but the exercise that I have at the end to kind of tie everything together is mainly geared towards trans women, so keep that in mind as you are watching. So I am accepting new students right now. If you are watching this and you are interested in taking lessons, shoot me an email at claire at seattlevoicelab.com and let's get started. So number one is the points of inflection. So between men and women, uh, the actual points of inflection are largely the same. Like provided we have the same sort of emotional state, right? The same sort of like excitement level and all these things, the points of inflection are the same. What's different is the exaggeration of those points. Hello, focus, there we go. Number two is the rate of speed. So the rate of speed is also uh, different between men and women. A man's voice takes on a speed rate of speed that's pretty constant throughout the entirety of it, but the feminine voice has a uh, alternating rate of speed. Fast followed by slow, fast followed by slow. So number three is syllables, not words. Now I see this all the time. Everybody says, accent your words, accent your words. Do not accent your words, accent your syllables. The syllable, will create that sort of sing-songy sort of place in your voice, and that will help open up into a brighter, more open sound, okay? So how do we actually do these three things? How do we actually incorporate them into our voice? So I like to tell my students to bring a little bit of bounce into the voice through this exercise I call elocution. So bringing bounce into the voice through elocution. What does this mean? Well, let me demonstrate. It helps to start with a tempo. Many complicated ideas about the rainbow have been formed. Okay, so as I was explaining this further, I want you to listen to how the elocution is present in my voice intermittently. Now, the thing about this, uh, this elocution is that we need it to bring out the rate of speed that will help slow us down. And then furthermore, we are learning how to accent the syllables and we are taking the guesswork out of which word or syllable needs accented. So once you feel comfortable with that exercise, take it as slow or as fast as you need if you're struggling with it. Um, I want you to move away from the monotone voice. The monotone voice is a great way to reinforce this larynx height where that pitch is kind of steady. Okay, so. Many complicated ideas about the rainbow have been formed. Do you hear how separating the syllables also gives room for us to give a sort of like clarity to these consonants. So once you feel comfortable with that, then the next and final step is to move away from the tempo. This is a little challenging and it's gonna take a little bit of time. I suggest kind of doing this alternating, go back and forth between tempo and natural, tempo and natural. Many complicated ideas about the rainbow have been formed. The difference in the rainbow depends considerably upon the size of the drops and the width of the colored band increases as the size of the drops increase. Notice how this becomes more natural as it becomes more, mm, more confident in this ability to slow down and sort of accent certain words or the syllables within those words. So, okay, here's the thing. You, you can't expect this one to get right away. You've gotta practice it. It's gonna come, it's not gonna come naturally. So you gotta just keep working on it. And if you are struggling with this exercise or frankly any other exercise out there, like I said earlier, 
I am taking students right now, so if you are interested in taking lessons with me, you can email me at claire at seattlevoicelab.com and my prices are flexible, so we can definitely work something out that works for both of us. So I hope this one helps you uh, incorporate elocution into your voice. It will help you a bunch, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Goodbye.